Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> what it is. What it is. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich. Man, what's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. Today, I am having a blessed day because I get to unbox one of my favorite Jordan Air Jordan silhouettes. Colorway, I can't say it's one of my favorite. I like it, it's dope. Um, I've never had this colorway before, but I've always liked, y'all already know, I've always liked the Air Jordan 7. I'm late as hell on this video because I tried to lock my pair in because with the hype and the resale and everything selling out nowadays, I did not know how this shoe was gonna do. I didn't know if it was gonna be sitting. I didn't know it was gonna quote unquote like the reseller say brick or the hype guy say brick. But uh, they seemed like they was pretty easy to get. I didn't know it, so I locked my pair in with my guy Ron G. Shout out to my guy Ron Grossery for giving me these things, man. It took a long time to get here because the post office was glitching. You know what I'm saying? They was taking forever to get my package. Talking about it wasn't an accurate address and then they delivered the package the next, the next day without nothing being changed in the address. So I'm like, who fought like it was? Like who, did y'all really try to deliver it? Like I don't, I don't think y'all tried to break my shoe. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into them. I wanna see the shoe. I have not seen it in hand yet. I have not been to a mall. I heard they sitting at some malls, some sneaker stores, but I have not seen them in hand yet because I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been anywhere but in this room unboxing shoes. And I will do it on feet for y'all guys. And they all say, Rich, what on feet? You don't do the on feet no more. I will do it on feet. The temperature dropped a little bit outside. You know what I'm saying? It's a little cool, but I'm going to go out there and get this on feet look for y'all. You feel me? So let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Um, I can't find my knife, bro. I can't find my trusty blade. I have no idea where it is. So I'm going to try my best to open this box with these hands. And it's a lot of tape. My guy, Ron G, put on here, man. Let me try to see. Where should I even start it? Man? Just... Bruh. Let's have to tear the box up at this point. Where my blade at? Ah, so finally, <laughs> finally get the shoe out the box, man. And um, the aftermath from the box. I had the incredible Hulk D guy with the hand, you feel me? Uh, here we go. Oh, I'm already this excited. I don't get excited a lot no more about shoes, but I love Air Jordan 7s. If y'all been watching my channel, unless you've been hiding under a rock or you new to the channel, you know I love the Air Jordan 7s, man. So this is actually not the OG box. This is the box that they be putting like 11s in. I think this will be considered the quote unquote OG box for like 10s and 11s. Air Jordan 7 actually came originally in like a fold up box with just the Jumpman, a big old red Jumpman and had like Nike uh, in red right here on the logo. But these right here, it's a retro box. I guess they don't do those little matte black boxes no more unless you're doing like a Jordan Mid or something like that. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. See what these things looking like. I ain't seen them yet. Get my opinion. Got a black paper, you feel me? Love that new shoe smell. It smelled, ooh. Now, okay. I said something, I said something in the, um, on my IG before these came out about them not being the right shape. They look like they got them closer to the right shape than I actually thought. <laughs> they close, they close. <laughs> The Air Jordan 7 Flint Gray Things, man. And it's not really that. I mean, this, this gray is so much darker than the um, originals from 2006, man. It's a lot darker. I'm trying to see if the camera's actually picking it up. Air Jordan 7 Flint things, man. I want to take that little top piece out right quick just to, man, these are crazy. I love sevens, man. And when it comes to Jordan 7s, like, even all of the recent ones, they don't come out that much, but when they do drop your boy Rich, I almost get them every single time. Like, recent sevens that drop, 
um, Ray Allen 7s came out a couple of years ago. Um, everybody was going crazy, and then when the shoe came out, I guess it bricked, it flopped, whatever you want to call it. They went on sale and stuff like that. They sat around. Um, and I got both colorways in the Pata Air Jordan 7s. Um, dope shoe in my humble opinion. Uh, I had a green one in this one right here. So I, like I said, when they drop, I get them in the most recently as last year and I actually wore these a couple of uh, days ago as the Air Jordan 7 uh, Greater China guys, man. So like I said, man, y'all know when the Jordan 7 drop and this is just like trash ass water, just, <laughs> this is just a terrible looking shoe, terrible colorway. I probably won't cop it, but as far as the recent sevens, those are like most of my recent seven pickups right there, including the Air Jordan 7 Flints. And these released back in 2006. A lot of Jordan 7s came out in 2006. I wonder was it, what it was about the year 2006. A lot of new colorway, because this was considered a new colorway Jordan 7 back in 2006. Also, I got two more that came out in 2006. I'm gonna show you right here. And this is the Air Jordan 7 Chambray. This one also, this is the actual 2006 pair. I don't think it has ever been retro. I think the only year it came out was in 2006. I still got the original. Um, it smells like 2006 too, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Chambray 7 from 2006. And I also have the Air Jordan 7 Citrus from 2006 as well. 2006. This is one of my favorites right here. I can't wait till they re-release this one because this was in decent condition still. But um, I don't know whoever had the shoe before me. They put, as you can see, the bottom is super hard, like tap dance and slippery. They put some kind of solution on here and it made the whole bottom of the shoe just like really hard. So I can't really wear them like without. If I might put some sole protectors or something, I might be able to wear them, but it ain't got no traction on the bottom of these shoes, man. It was a weird thing about this shoe, but it's like I, was, I like one of my favorite Jordan 7 colorways. I hate that I can't wear it like I want to. The stitching was crazy, the colorway was crazy. Just a dope shoe in my humble opinion. And a uh, Jordan 7 uh, original uh, flints had this exact same shape. So as you can see, the shape is just a little bit different. Um, I've never had a 2006, but all the Jordan 7s that came out in 2006 had this exact same shape. Um, and then I got all the OG Jordan 7s and stuff. Not OG, but the OG colorways in the Jordan 7s. Got the Raptor, uh, Hair, Olympic, um, Bordeaux, and the, uh, I'm missing something. Oh, Cardinals, I'm missing the Cardinals. I did have the Cardinals, but I sold them. I just didn't really like, I ain't, there was a 2000 pair, 2011 pair I had, and I just went crazy about the 2011, so hopefully they bring the OGs back. So anyway, let's go ahead and get a quick review of the Air Jordan 7 uh, Flints. You got that mostly tumbled leather upper, as you can see, if I look real close, got the chill bump action going on right there. Um, you got that real dark gray. It's like it's a lot darker. It's a little bit lighter than it's showing up on this camera. It look even darker on the camera, but it's real dark gray. It's supposed to be that lighter, like flint looking gray. The same gray that's on like the Flint 13s, but um, they went with a darker gray. That's the only thing that confuses me. I have no idea why they went so dark on the gray. You still have that uh, purple on the Jumpman right there. You still have the purple and gray, different uh, colors of gray on the tongue. Very similar, talking about these uh, Ray Allens, it's very similar colorway to the Ray Allens. They use a lot of the same colors in the Ray Allens. Got the Air Jordan right there on the tongue as well. I love the neoprene tongue and neoprene booty inside, booty, uh, <laughs> inside of the uh, Jordan 7s, man. One of my favorite parts about Jordan 7s. Um, black with the white jump man on the inside. And you gotta love that ass. Speaking of booty, you gotta love that ass on the Jordan 7. That ass, 23 on that ass with that seven. That logo is one of my favorite logos on any Jordan. I, like I said, love Jordan sevens, um, love this shoe. If you want to see reviews on this shoe by now, you probably have already seen the reviews on this shoe. So I'm gonna stop wasting y'all time. I want to show a couple of my sevens and talk about Jordan sevens. They don't get a lot of love, especially since the True Flight seven start. Well, it's not True Flight seven. See, I'm calling that a seven. The True Flight Jordan came out and it took a lot of the luster, the shine. You know what I'm saying? Away from the Air Jordan 7. One of my favorite shoes. My Definitely my favorite Air Jordan silhouette. I'm a big 7 guy. Y'all know it. Anyway, Flint guys, they go to bottoms right there. I forgot to show the bottoms. And it seems like the bottom gray is a little bit lighter than the suede. Maybe it's just my camera, because you see I can show it like that. And then like that, it look light, and then it get dark. I don't know. 
Anyway, man, ain't been doing my own feet videos. I apologize, Rich Nation, but I know y'all want to see these on feet, so let me let y'all go in and check these things out on feet, man. Do it! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Air Jordan 7 Flint things on feet, man. <laughs> Come below and tell what y'all thinking. I got a loose lace on the right foot. I got them snugged up on the left. I prefer the neater. This one just looks neater. Jordan 7s, you know what I'm saying? Jordan 7 got that high, high collar, so, you know, you gotta be careful with how your jeans lay on these. Kinda hard to maneuver that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We get it done. You feel me? And I gotta give them that clank, clank, clean stamp of approval, man. You feel me? Booty action, some ass. To walk away. You hard though, man. I'm, I'm messing with them. They seven. They it's a dope colorway. Love the gray suede. Looks clean, in my humble opinion. It's a little dark, but not like the original. But it's all good. It's a walk back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, look, slight cross them up on them. You feed me. But that's these things on feet, man. Time to tell what you think. They have really thin laces for some reason. I know there's wind blowing out here. Real thin laces, and then they got these silver lace tips. So, I don't know what, got, what they got going on with that, but a little round with you action on them. Yes, sir. Jordan 7 flinch. Did y'all cop? Did anybody cop? Does anybody cop to wear? Because resale ain't crazy. Resale ain't crazy on these cleans, in my humble opinion. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, but like I said, resale ain't too crazy on these. So if anybody cop, y'all come below and tell me, did you cop to wear these things? Did you cop to put them on feet? You know what I'm saying? They dope to me. I like the drip on them, they hard. You know what I'm saying? Jordan 7, Flint Gray. Got the Concord purple action going on. I ain't look at the official colorway, but it's some kind of purple. Anyway, man, I appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. On feet action, just for y'all, Rich Nation. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them, you feel me? And keep watching my video, cause that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah. My rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening to everybody? Yeah. Like so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby Then we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone Straight up to the moon on